vortex. In summary, this weird psychedelic vortex was merely our normal space-time, but with one temporal dimension or time manifested as an accessible spatial dimension. In this chamber, Cooper could simply go forward and backward in time, as simple as moving diagonally up and down through the Tesseract complex. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. It is noted from the movie that the physical objects and fields having three spatial dimensions such as humans, light and information cannot move backward in time, from one point in our brain to another. Just like the information about Murph in the past can go to Cooper in the Tesseract in the future, but it cannot travel back in time from Cooper to younger Murph. This is due to the fact that the actual warping of space-time prevents it. Cooper, in particular, will never be able to return back in time and alter anything. However, as we see in the movie, gravitational forces may carry messages into the past. The signals can travel back in time from Cooper to Murph, overcoming the one-way barrier. That's why since the beginning, this movie talks about gravity anomalies, 